Thanks for tuning in, and in today's tutorial, I will be showing you all the steps that I took to install a ceiling fan in one of the rooms of my house. There are four separate videos that you can watch, or you can watch the complete video start to finish. It will go in order of removing the overhead light fixture, second, installing a ceiling fan box, third, mounting the fan to the ceiling, and then fourth, wiring a switch loop to verify, uh, to, to get the circuit working. Uh, so like I said, there are four separate videos and then there is one end-to-end -end video. It's up to you how you watch it, start to finish, piece by piece or whatever. If you need any help, drop me a comment. I hope this tutorial helps everybody. Stay healthy. Have a great day. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take off the light fixture where the ceiling fan is going to go. And I'm also going to make this another video. This is how you take off your overhead lighting fixture. Because when I was in college, I'm not going to lie, I didn't know how to do this. My roommate had to show me and he made fun of me forever. So it's really simple. Um, you just twist this piece off here. It's actually threaded, all right? This is threaded, it's really clever, people. It doesn't look like anything. But then this one was really fancy. It has two pieces, all right? No, I didn't get that. This one is threaded. And this is just the decorative cover, all right? Now also, if you're putting up a new light fixture, a new ceiling fan, don't break this. All right, you might want to take the ceiling fan with you when you move out of the house, or you might want to keep it, and you can sell this at a yard sale. All right, guys, every penny helps in this world. All right, so next, what you'll see here is going to be another screw up top, another bolt, and you can loosen this piece here. All right, it's going to drop down your light. And then also there are going to be two screws in here. All right, we're going to unscrew those. All right, we all seem to have a little more time on our hands. So today's project, I'm doing a few things. One, I have to mount a ceiling fan box into my ceiling so that I can mount a ceiling fan, which is my second project. All right, so what I'm gonna be doing is working from the top down. I came into my attic, I identified where I need to make my hole larger. So let's take a look at that. All right, I pulled up one of the floorboards here. And as you can see the daylight there, that is what I'm going to be enlarging. I've pulled all my electrical off to the side. Uh, I'm gonna go down to the basement and I'm going to turn that off at the box. Just make sure you shut off the power. That is important when you're working with electricity. Uh, and outside of that, the tools I'll be using is a saw, a couple of different size saws to drill my hole, get my holes. Um, I bought a, what's called a safety bar, which is like an expandable ceiling fan box. And my daughter's correcting my grammar. What am I supposed to say? Action. Action, I didn't say action. Anyway, um, we'll do that next time. Yeah, and uh, various other tools. I'll be going through this as we do the project, all right? So thanks for watching. This is a learning experience for me and you. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Talk to you soon. All right, what you're seeing now is I am at the spot where I'm gonna be cutting into the plaster and putting this ceiling fan box, all right? Um, all you wanna do is you take the box, put it where you're going, where you want the hole, and you trace it, all right? Um, uh, the idea is that this box is going to be coming down and be flush with the plaster or sheetrock in your ceiling. And if you have sheetrock, man, you're so much luckier. I hate plaster. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be using, uh, I have a Leatherman. I'll be using a small uh, saw on this to get it started. And then I have a regular size saw I'll be using to cut the rest of the hole. Um, yeah, and that's it. So I'll probably do a quick time lapse and we'll go from there. Thank you. Okay, so the hole's been cut, and now my wife is going to stick her hand out at the hole or something to prove. All right, whoa. All right, next step, <laughs> we're gonna go see if we cut it big enough for the box. Stick around. Okay, so as you can see, we now have the box here. So what I'll do is pick a good spot for it, and then yeah, yeah, Daddy has the box. I'll remove I'll remove the, uh, the plugs so I can drop in the uh, electrical, all right? So yeah, we'll get this set up where we want it and I'll go up to the top and I'll show you how I secure it. All right, we're back in the, at the hole uh, in the floor in my attic. Let's take a look at how this bar installs, okay? So we're gonna take a look there. There you see the box, all right? Uh -huh. And then we're gonna take a look over here. 
And you see here, there's four holes, all right? Four screw holes. One, two, three, four. And you're going to screw into that. And whoops. You're going to screw into those four mm -hmm. screw holes there as well. Yeah. Right, Isla? You agree? Right. All right. And then yeah. once you do that, mm -hmm. you're going to pop off these covers here. Uh -huh. And you're going to feed your electrical wiring through there. All right. So you're going to mm -hmm. feed that uh, through mm -hmm. here. What are you going to feed there it? There should be a second one Daddy, what are you gonna feed right it? there. Electrical wires. Okay, right, so let me show you how to pop these out. Just uh -huh. because we want everyone to know. Seriously, it's simple. Put it on the ground. Uh -huh. Push your the thumb ground. in there. And push your thumb in there. And boom, you got it coming and out. Boom. Same with these side ones if you have to come from the side and down, all right? You just push them in with your thumb and you're all set. So I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, the box has been mounted. So let's take a quick look. I'm going to shine my flashlight in there, show you how it looks on our finished. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the electric. Okay, so there you go. All right, that, let me just do this so you can see a little better. There is our ceiling fan box, nice and secure. The only wiggling you hear is from the box itself, which um, I'm going to secure, and I'll show you how we do that from down below. Now, I'm action. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna secure the box where we want it, and I'm using a 3 8 inch socket here. And all you do is there are two bolts here. Just tighten them up. And that will secure your fan. And then I'll secure your box. And you want to tighten those nice and secure. Because you don't want this to go anywhere. Alright, next, you're going to mount your ceiling fan box to these two bolts, not the dog ears. These are for like lightweight light fixtures. Your fan is going to go here, all right? And that pretty much wraps up how to add a ceiling fan box to your ceiling. Follow these steps for success and you should not run into any issues. If you do, just drop me a comment and I'll try my best to help you out. Also, please tune in for the next part of this video where I install the ceiling fan itself. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and have a great day. Right, next, you're gonna mount your ceiling fan box to these two bolts, not the dog ears. These are for like lightweight light fixtures. Your fan is going to go here, all right? So, let me get my driver out. Oh, I have a screwdriver. Oh, I have one too. All right, we drop these down. And these should be pretty long bolts. And then you just line them up and pop them in, all right? And if you have difficulty, use this hole in the middle where you're going to be putting all your wire in through, all right? That uh, gives you a good vantage point as I miss. All right, so you get that there. Daddy, I can see you. I see you too. Daddy, you want to see me? And then you get it threaded. And you cinch that baby up. All right, you want this to be extremely secure. Right, so as tight as you can get those in there. As far as they go. Because you don't want this moving. All right, and there you have it. Well, all right, so for this part, you probably need some help. Okay. 
All right, this is not a one-person operation. So I got my lovely assistant, my wife. She's better at doing this than filming. <laughs> All right, so you have your ceiling fan, okay? Most ceiling fans are gonna have these little like nubs here, and they're going to they're going to mount here and hold your ceiling fan in place. So I'll show you how we do that. And Ooh, I'm gonna uh, hold it in my mouth. Oh. Oh, <laughs> so this is why I don't have a million subscribers. <laughs> Honestly, as goofy as I am, I'm surprised I don't have more. All right, so actually. All right, so now I have it up here. Uh, my wife, whoever your assistant is, get them upstairs and they can feed the wires through. And now we're just going to put those, those nuts on there. Those end caps. And secure this thing in place. All right, you can turn that on. Keep going. All right, so we're going to put that one there. All right, there we go, one more. And at this point, it's probably secure, but you always just want to be safe. You never want to do this until you have everything screwed into place. And then you'll just get your socket set and cinch everything down, make sure it's good to go. Um, so I'm going to do that and then we'll go up into the attic and we will do all the wiring and we should be close to testing this out. Thanks. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be showing you how to wire a switch loop for a ceiling fan. And I've created this pretty basic diagram here so you can take a look and follow along as you're doing this project. Let's get started. All right, now, my house is older and we had a whole knob and tube remediation here. so. Um, what I've learned is that this out, this this receptacle where I'm hooking up, this light where I'm hooking this light up, has what's called a switch loop. And I learned that the hard way because I was wiring it up just thinking I knew what I was doing and I wasn't connecting, making a loop. Um, so when I kept blowing this, this the breaker, I decided to do what everyone should do if you are not an electrician and call the electrician who did the job. So I called him and he walked me through the process and we talked it over and then he drew out a diagram for me and explained how to hook this up, okay? So what I'm going to do now is walk through how I'm hooking up this switch loop. Now, I am not an electrician, like I said. I called the electrician who did it. He said, this is fine for me to do. I'm confident in doing it. Um, if you're not confident at this point, stop, all right? Seriously, do not mess with electricity. Um, but we're gonna get started here, okay? So I'm going to walk through step by step. First things first, uh, I have two Romex coming in. One is labeled feed, all right? And then the other is going to be my switch leg. This goes down to the switch that's going to turn the fan on, the wall switch. Okay, feed, ground, neutral, hot. Switch, same thing, ground, neutral, hot. All right, so we're going to start this off. I'm going to put the white, the white neutral from my fan to the white neutral from the feed, okay? So white from the fan, white to the feed. All right, and if you're working with these caps, um, just put them together, as close together as you can. All right, and then just put the cap on there, turn it clockwise. Do not use a power tool or anything to tighten these, all right? I mean, it sounds silly, but some people do. That's not recommended. Just make sure it's secure, all right? Nothing's coming out there. All right, so like I said, I just did the white, the neutral from my fan to the neutral um, on the Romex feed. All right, next, I'm gonna take the black wire from my feed to the white wire of my switch leg, which is here. All right, so we're gonna go here, and we're going to cap them. All right, again, same thing. We're just gonna twist these together, get a nice 
nice and snug. Yeah, there you go. That's not going anywhere. All right, they're not going anywhere. All right, next, I'm gonna take the black wire from my switch leg to the, well, give me one second here. I did not do my ground. There we go. I'm gonna hook up my ground here and I'll go grab one more cap um, before we finish this job, before I turn it on. I just don't have one in my possession right now. So we're hooking the ground to the ground, okay? We know that. And like I said, I am not turning it on until I cap this, all right? So I'm just gonna keep that there for right now just so I know to do it. And now, like I said, the last part, what we're doing is we are hooking up the fan and the lamp, the black and the blue, the light blue and the black, to the black of my switch leg. All right, so what this does is it'll complete the switch, the circuit. Get that on there nice and snug. All set. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through it one more time, the steps, all right? First step when you're doing your switch loop, green to ground, all right? And you're gonna wire both your Romex grounds together as well. And I will be capping this before I turn power on, so please don't rip me in the comments. After you do that, you're going to put the white from your feed, the white Romex from your feed, to the white wire from your ceiling fan, all right? After you do that, you're going to take the, the black wire from your feed to the white wire of your switch leg. Now, if you look at your light switch, you'll notice there's going to be a black and a white down there, all right? That's how I notice this. So after that, you're gonna take the black wire from your switch leg, all right, and hook that to the black and light blue of your ceiling fan. Everything's grounded, this completes the switch loop. Now when I go to turn the ceiling fan on, the light switch going up should turn the power on and the two controls on the ceiling fan should work. So I'm gonna get a cap for this, I'm gonna cap this off, and then we're gonna go down, we're gonna test the finished product. Thanks for watching, we'll be right back. Okay, I'm a man of my word. I told you I would go get it and I would cap the ground, I mean I would uh, wire the ground together, all right? All right, so one last time. Check that everything is nice and secure. There we get to go. All right, we'll be back. Okay, so the switch is off and the fan is not on and the light is not on. Before, when I was doing it backwards, that would be on, the switch would be off. So now my wife is gonna flip the switch. We have a light. Hooray! All right, the fan is moving. Everything works. So that's how you install a ceiling fan box, how you install the ceiling fan, and how you wire a switch loop. And one last time, if you are unsure about what you are doing, call an electrician. And if you don't feel confident, do not try it. Get some professional help. I hope this video helped. Make sure you like and subscribe. Stay healthy. I'll talk to everyone later.